Hi guys, my name is Mark. Today we're talking about the Svex V3 by Razer. It's a polycarbonate pad. Let's go. So we're talking about the Svex V3, which is basically a plastic pad. You can see and hear it. The backside is like uh, they have some, something on it because um, there is glue on it because they want Razer wants that you put the pad on your desk with the with these um, glued backsides. So if you put it once on your desk, you can't move it anymore. It's like you, you just put it here and then it's like glued to your desk. So if you want to move your mouse pad, you may need to move your desk or cut it out or whatever. I don't know. We will try. Um, basically, yeah, it's a very thin polycarbonate pad. It reminds me of the old school plastic pad, but not the rough one. It's the, 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 the fast ones, the, the um, not rough poly pads from like 1999, when Everglide made pads of hunt surface, something like that. Um, we will stick it on the desk now. Let's go, guys. So guys, you saw the video, I tried to play Apex with it and honestly I don't want to try it anymore and I will not try Kovax or any else, any any different game with this pet because there's like zero feeling with this pet. As I played fun surface pets when I was um, a semi-professional in Counter-Strike 1.6 in 2003-2004. I played the WWCL finals uh, two times and I was on more LAN parties than other people I know. It's like I was two LAN parties every month and every LAN party was above 500 people. And I played the whole time Fun Surfers or Gigantos or whatever. I always played, or uh, uh, how was it called, Everglide pet. I was always playing uh, polycarbonate pads with Caramba spray or, or WD-40 on it to make it even more faster. But if you played like one or two years on really really good um, um, pets like Aqua Control, um, QCK, whatever, even even a Zido Renko from Amazon for 15 euro will give you a better feeling in control and tracking than this pet will give you. Like for me, there's like zero. The feeling is there's no feeling. There's there's nothing in the, my mind and in my hand which would give me the force to control or handle this pad to play on a high level. Today, before I recorded this video with this pad, I played the new Razer Ochochi and I made, oh no, that was the Ninjutsu mouse and I made like uh, 15 kills with nearly 4k damage and in diamond lobby on record. With this pad, I can't even make 100 damage. On no one because for me in my opinion that's one of the useless pet outside right now I don't say there's no one who will buy it or who will uh, who will like it but for me as a, a player who played on semi-professional grade 
who is playing a lot, like 8 to 12 hours a day, there's no way I would enjoy this pet. So from my side, there's a zero recommendation for this pet, guys. I know there are now these razor guys will come and comment here, but it's razor, it's good, it's good. Guys, buy this pet. It's 30 euro. Buy it and try it and tell me what's good on this one. I will ask other people I know, like Neo, Neo Midrigger from Mouse Sports. He's playing polycarbonate pet since 2002 and he's still playing this with a G Pro and he only plays out of the wrist like this. And I will ask him what he's thinking about playing polycarbonate pets right now. And I will try to make a video about this at some point because I want to do videos with ex-pro players and pro players right now who explain the setups they're playing and why they're playing it. But I think there is no one who will enjoy this pet. The surface is literally unplayable in my opinion. And by the way, I thought uh, I put it one time on the desk and you will never move it again. It's different. It's not real like glue. It's like uh, a sticking on this side. Now, now it's, it's like it's sticking. And um, it's basically look like this. You see it's still very clean and shiny because I cleaned the desk before. But imagine, at one point it gets dusty and then it don't stick anymore on the desk. How you want to play it? Because it, it will move like this then. How you want to play it? You will you never want to move this one or what? It's like, I don't know. Razor, I think you will find some people who buy it, but from my side, I wouldn't recommend anyone to play this pet at any situation, never. Guys, if you have any questions, put it down in the comments. Thanks for watching, see you soon.